Hi everybody, welcome back to another Jackson Jet Setting Cruise video. Today we're checking out all the different classes of ships that Royal Caribbean is currently sailing, as well as a future class of ship due to premiere in 2024 that's sure to make waves across the cruise industry, and in fact it already is. Uh, be sure to stay tuned through the whole video to find out more about this exciting new mega ship. So, let's get started. Royal Caribbean was founded in 1968, sailing the Song of Norway in 1970. Since then, things have definitely changed, with 26 ships currently sailing, and two more due to arrive next year. If you're planning to book a Royal Caribbean cruise for your next vacation, this video is aiming to help you decide what ship is best for you, as oftentimes the ship can make or break a cruise for couples and families. As a quick reminder, if you like this type of content, please hit the subscribe button and give us a like. It'll really help us out. We have tons of cruise content on the channel as well as resort content from around the world. Royal Caribbean spends millions a year on marketing and the majority of it is centered around its Oasis class ships, our first class ship that we're gonna detail in this video. These are currently the largest ships in the world. They have robot bars, bars that move up and down decks like an elevator, zip lines, massive water slides, and high-tech restaurants. The Oasis of the Seas was first to premiere in 2009. My wife and I actually were on board the Oasis of the Seas in December 2022. You can see this full ship tour and review in the show notes. But we found the ship to be absolutely gigantic. Lots of activities on board, but also lots of people too. It was a holiday sailing to be fair, but the max capacity on board Oasis class ships can top out at just under 7,000 people. So a lot of people on board for sure. Other sister ships in the category that you may see in your search are Allure of the Seas, Harmony of the Seas, Symphony of the Seas, and the newest Wonder of the Seas, which premiered in 2022. One more Oasis class ship, Utopia of the Seas, is due to premiere in 2024. Uh, so a sister ship is going to be roughly similar in size to the other ships in its same class, uh, but minor adjustments like different dining venues, different activities, or more likely more cabins. Oasis class ships sail all over the world, but you'll find them a lot on sailing itineraries to the Caribbean from big ports like Miami. Since many ports in the Caribbean have made sure that they can berth such massive vessels, they can't really go to a lot of smaller ports because if they need to use their tenders, it's just gonna take a long, long time for everyone to get off the ship. So that's not what they really aim to do. Royal Caribbean has also built a custom built terminal for these types of ships in Galveston and Miami. The second largest ships in Royal Caribbean's fleet are found in the Quantum class and Quantum Ultra class. So the Quantum Ultra class is sort of a subcategory, but defining features within this class are the North Star, an observation arm for amazing sea and port views, iFly flying simulators, 270 degree lounge, high-tech performance venue, and bumper cars. So a lot of wild things on board for you to do. The first ship sailing in this class was appropriately the Quantum of the Seas in 2014. And since Royal Caribbean has added Anthem of the Seas and Ovation of the Seas. Spectrum of the Seas and Odyssey of the Seas are technically Quantum Ultra class, so you find these ships sailing all over the world, including Europe and Asia. So if you're taking that summer cruise to Europe, you may find yourself on board this ship. Next up, we're gonna talk about Voyager class ships, which are my personal favorite ship design that Royal Caribbean sails. The Voyager class ships were so instrumental to Royal Caribbean success and such a game changer, adding innovations like the indoor Royal Promenade, a three-story shopping and dining street in the center of the vessel, ice skating rinks, and rock walls. I remember as a kid just being wildly excited about this class of ship and I had to get on board and drag my family on a vacation uh, in 2005 on board the Mariner of the Seas. Voyager of the Seas was the first to premiere in 1999 with Explorer of the Seas, Adventure of the Seas, Navigator of the Seas, and Mariner of the Seas rounding out their sister ships. I recently sailed on both Navigator of the Seas and Mariner of the Seas, which you can see full tours of on my channel appropriately. But many Voyager class ships sail out of Florida and San Juan, Puerto Rico, with Navigator of the Seas sailing full time out of Los Angeles down the Mexican Riviera. While once one of the largest ships in the world, these are mid-sized ships now in Royal's fleet. Next up, the Freedom class, which is technically a different class of ship than Voyager, but really just a similar design and slightly bigger. A little bit more stretched out with more cabins and a few innovations at the time. They are only three ships in this class, Freedom of the Seas, Liberty of the Seas, and Independence of the Seas. They were the first ships with the Flow Rider artificial wave, as well as cantilevered hot tubs. 
and I've sailed on both Freedom and Liberty of the Seas and really enjoyed my time on board both. They felt big, but not too big, which is important to me. I need like things to do, but not necessarily have things overrun with people like I felt like on the Oasis class ships. Moving on to the next class of ship. This is a smaller class of ship called the Radiance class. Uh, it's designed for cold weather cruising, but now kind of sails all over the world. Uh, the ships feature a lot of natural light, thanks to tons of glass that lets in throughout their decks. They have the solarium, which is sort of a covered pool for inclement weather. They premiered in 2001 with Radiance of the Seas appropriately, and then Brilliance of the Seas, Serenade of the Seas, and Jewel of the Seas came on board in 2004. I sailed on Brilliance of the Seas this year and felt like the ship was nice and cozy, but compared to other royal ships, I was really looking for more things to do on board. Not to be unexpected here given the size of the ship, but just something to keep in mind in case you're looking at an itinerary that one of these ships is sailing on. Finally, one last class of ship, Vision Class, is the smallest of all the Royal Caribbean ships, and they're also the oldest. Grandeur of the Seas premiered way back in 1996 and holds only 2,440 people at max capacity. Rhapsody of the Seas, Enchantment of the Seas, and Vision of the Seas are other ships in this class. So you'll see retrofitted amenities on these ships that were popular with other classes of royal ships like the Rock Climbing Wall. These ships are really going to remind you of the cruising days of yore. Uh, that being said, these ships are often sailing interesting itineraries. So if that's your goal of cruising, you may find yourself on board one of these ships. In addition, it's definitely holding the least amount of people of any of the Royal Caribbean ships. So things are going to feel a little less crowded, uh, even though they are smaller in size. So finally, that takes us to the newest class of ship coming out in 2024. This thing has lit the cruise world on fire. It's the Icon class. Uh, starting with the Icon of the Seas, these will be a brand new largest ships at sea. As you can see from these renderings, this ship will feature 7,600 people on board, but have amazing new innovations like the largest water park at sea with six water slides, an overwater ropes course, a circular ice skating venue, and seven pools and nine whirlpools with over 20 decks. This thing's gonna make waves literally and figuratively when it premieres in 2024. I can't wait to hop on board and see what all the fuss is about, uh, even though I do feel like there's gonna be way too many people on board for my taste. Uh, so that concludes my video detailing each class of ship in Royal Caribbean's fleet. Hope you had fun learning about all the different ships that Royal Caribbean sails and wish you very happy sailings. Uh, as a reminder, subscribe to the channel and like this video, yada, yada, yada. Have a great vacation.